Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the Moon Maze game. <clears throat> the year is 2085. Humanity has spread out through the sp has spread throughout the solar system. A stable lunar colony is agitating for independence. Lunar tourism is on the rise. Against this political ba against this backdrop, professional close protection specialist bodyguard Scotty Griffin is fresh off a disastrous assignment, is offered the opportunity of a lifetime to shepherd the teenage heir to the Republic of Kakeya on a fabulous vacation. Ali Kakeya will participate in get this the first live action role playing game conducted on the moon itself. You know, just so yeah, this game is just the whole thing is about space LARPing. And I like how it says the moon itself, you know, as opposed to all the LARPing sessions that have been taking place in lunar orbit. Um, having left Luna and a treasured marriage years ago due to a tragic accident, Scotty leaps at the opportunity. <clears throat> when the game is invaded by terrorists and the gamers kidnapped, suddenly the largest audience in the history of entertainment finds itself watching a very different spectacle. Yes, uh, the, the, the LARPing is this big in the future, I guess. But the kidnappers have made a critical mistake. Live action role playing attracts a very special sort of individual. Yeah, I, I, I bet it does. Brilliant, unpredictable, resourceful, and addicted to problem solving. <laughs> I mean, again, we're talking about LARPers, you know. The terrorists have thrown down an, an irresistible gauntlet. In effect, challenging the gamers to win the first ever game that became real. And yet, it really does say that it's like this in the... Anyway, I'm pursued by an armed murderous kidnappers, forced to solve gaming puzzles to stay a jump ahead, and to juggle multiple psychological realities as they do, this game, for which they have prepared their entire lives, and they are going to play it for all it's worth. <clears throat> um, so yeah, basically this is uh, this story is taking essentially like mazes and monsters and Die Hard and you know putting it on in outer space. Yeah, I mean. So I, I'm I'm hooked. You know that's a very good description. Although the cover for the book that I got was definitely very lackluster. I mean we're talking about you know LARPing in space and evading terrorists and kidnappers and this whole thing is just like some dudes getting off a train. You know. But yeah, I mean. So overall, the story looks really interesting, and the the whole thing just looks really cool. But uh, I mean, what? Well, and even the game that they play is really interesting. It's like um, it's kind of like the Martian War War that I reviewed a while back, where it's like this H.G. Wells meets Jules Verne type thing, where like they go to the moon, and then there's this thing with like mixing in War of the Worlds with everything. And, uh, yeah. Really, the one kind of, um, like, the major flaw is, like, the characters. Like, you know, there's, um, <clears throat> Ali Kakeya, who is just this, um, like, it's like he already has his art complete. He's just a nice guy, but it's, like, everyone else who's acting like, oh, my goodness, he's a LARPer. He's, he likes role-playing. That's so stupid. And then uh, Scotty Griffin's character arc, or overall arc, with his ex-wife is, see, see, like, it's diehard, you know. Like, he's, like, he doesn't have, like, like, this whole good relationship with his wife. And um, then throughout this whole thing, like, they, like, connect with each other and, yeah. <clears throat> and um, also, like, there, there aren't really many... Uh, you know, and mean any, like, really memorable moments. But overall, um, 
like it like made you like or dislike the movie this whole book and overall um it was just kind of okay like not really good or bad just kind of meh anyway um <clears throat> um until anyway um o overall i give this my personal rating of a 4 out of 5 just a comfortable recommendation you know like not exactly the kind of thing you'd like i'd just say for you to rush over and buy it immediately but like if you ever you know you come across it why not give it a read it's okay just, all right <clears throat> And, uh, oh, next time, yes, till then, see you later.